minutes, we don't get to that target score. Each team loses a player. So suddenly, this 7v7 game could become 6v6. Uh, I was not. I was like, coach, but we did See you eat up some space there. <laughs> Gosh. That was wild. Something different. And that's where some oh, of the oh, oh. individual skills take over. And how about it? You talked about the veteran. That was a veteran move with the cheeky back heel for a goal. Check this out. Beautiful cross in the middle. Then the bomb. That was amazing. Great, great goal. Are you going to take it back, what you said about defenders? Uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely take that back. <laughs> definitely take that back. How about that? Long time. Because that team we played against uh, definitely did well with those foot soles. Oh, wow. Unlucky. Unlucky by number 22. Yeah. Century That's on Mauricio this That's That's Mauricio Amoroso. Yes. What a player. Bottom of Udinese. What a goal scorer. How about that? 49 years young. CFC has extended its lead on it. I see that. Crack from distance there for Kim. 3v1 for the moment. And how about Dortmund getting back? Tinga and company. And now sprawled out is young Zach Simmons. Card coming here. Great, great recovery by Dortmund. Great, great recovery by Dortmund. Too bad for that play. Yeah, that was a 35. Yeah. He's another ball played deep. Mezzanina has it. And there's the whistle. So at the end of regulation, 1-1 for Bayern and Dortmund. Both will help their cause here. Goal differential if they don't win to stay in the fight for potentially getting through as one of the third place teams to advance to the knockout rounds which in the men's tournament begin Friday alongside Giuseppe Rossi playing here with one of his old sides Villarreal at the soccer tournament another game for him coming up stepping into the booth with us Jason Knapp our TST crew glad to have you along do have an advantage when uh, there's less players on the field let's see if, let's see if they can't take Tough tackle on the edge. He's carded already. Yeah, yeah and that's it. That's a red. That's the second one on Isla, so he's gone. Knockout one. That was right. That's why I tackled him. Right over there. So a tough lesson learned here from the 18-year-old from Argentina. And again, no slide tackles here in this format. And again, their world team squad pulled this one out of the fire, playing down a man. That'll be a yellow coming on Emmanuel, his first. Good, but when you're approaching age 50, they can't feel good at all. That hurts, man. That hurts. You got knees right there. This. Dortmund's got it back. Amoroso, Grosskreutz, the legends out here from distance. Carried away nicely. So this is where you see this is where you see the experience from, from the players you see much but also understanding space and time and they're getting chances now there it is and another big save from the young Czech and with these kids put together you wonder how much they practice a scenario like this maybe 4v4 but not 4v3 oh Kick back out, extra time, time and so. space in the put away. Barrios ends it, and Dortmund in its second year finally gets its first victory here at TST. Shut out a year ago, dropping the opener and beating Bayern Munich in target score time. What did I tell Barrios before? Hit the target, Barrios. <laughs> and what did he do? Wow. Target. Golazo. Nice little cheeky ball by Marcelo, by Marcelo Moroso. Great fake, golazo. First victory for Dortmund. Big celebration, and the yellow wall, if they're watching along, going to be happy as well.